Time was, owning a TV station was a license to print money. But like rabbit ears and a robust economy, those days are gone. Canadian TV profits are down, way down, from $233.4 million in 2007 to an anemic $8 million last year. Accordingly, the networks are shedding staff, and in the case of CanWest Global, trying to shed actual stations in Montreal, Hamilton, Red Deer, Kelowna, and Victoria. But if no one makes a bid, then the stations could conceivably be shut down and just fade to black. Jody Hinkson doesn't want that to happen to her local TV station, so she started an internet petition and a Facebook campaign to save CHCH in Hamilton, which is where we reached her. Ms. Hinkson, why do you want to save CHCH? I think that CHCH is a valuable part of the Hamilton, Halton, and Niagara community. It's almost like your big brother or big sister filling you in on what's going on in your community and keeping you informed on local businesses and uh, news that's important to us. What's really original on CHCH? Most of it is American channels on the e-network. So what, what is original on that network? Well, we originally had um, CHCH at Home, which uh, featured a lot of um, community um, organizations coming on and, and doing demonstrations about what their business sold or the SPCA coming on and talking about uh, some of the issues in our community with animals that needed to be adopted. Uh, we also had Straight Talk, uh, which covered local community groups um, and local athletes, everything from bidding on Pan Am games to charity events that were going on in, in our community. It covers pretty much everything that's going on for us here in the, in the Hamilton region. Is there any other station, radio or TV, that provides the information you get from CHTV? We do. We have uh, 900 CHML, which is our radio station. Uh, it also covers local events. It gives you uh, local snippets of, of news, but they're very short. Um, they do some interviews with some local uh, groups that are protesting or um, having fundraisers, but they don't give you the same coverage that CHCH News does. With its own anchor and its own uh, hour, I guess. Exactly. How many, two, twice a day, the local news? Uh, no, we have, uh, I guess it's four times a day, actually. We have a uh, 5.30 till 9 morning show. We have um, the noon news, the 6 news, and 11 o'clock. Hmm. What reaction have you had so far to your online petition? Um, our online petition is a little bit slow uh, in getting started. We're just over 1,100 people. Our Facebook group, though, um, is over 10,000. We've had um, Andrea Horvath has joined our group, which is, you know, what we need. We need the people in power to, to support us through this entire process. Who's Andrea Hor Horvath? She's the MPP for Hamilton Center. Okay, and so and uh, you've had some people from overseas uh, writing into Facebook. Yeah, we've had people from all over, um, mostly through Canada, but we've had um, some of our members who are originally from the Hamilton area who are living abroad right now and and tune in whenever they can, whenever they get back in the area to watch it. So where is this going to take you, though? This uh, your your campaign. Well, we're hoping that we can garner enough media attention that maybe somebody out there will come up with an idea on a way of buying the station. Um, it's, it's not likely that the station will close. They keep reiterating the fact that that's sort of the last, the, you know, the, the worst possible case scenario. But um, it is a scenario that could happen. We could lose our station. So we're hoping that somebody who can come in and make the station local again and bring it back to what it was 10 or 15 years ago might be willing to step up and do that, or maybe a consortium of people who have the funds and the means avail available to do that. Given that all the networks, stations, and radio, TV are just uh, scrambling to get the few scraps of advertising that's out there, to, what do you think the chances are? It's not looking good. I won't sugarcoat it. Unfortunately, it's not going as well as we were, were hoping it would um, as far as being able to come up with the dollars. But there's got to be a way of making it work. There are other stations in the United States that are doing um, local broadcasting still and managing to keep it going. So there's got to be a way of keeping it going here in Canada. What about the other there's some stations, similar stations, Can West Global stations in Montreal, Red Deer, Kelowna, and Victoria? Are you hearing any? Are they doing the same thing? Any kind of efforts like yours in there, those towns? They, there is. There's um, 
on Facebook again, it, Facebook seems to be the new way of getting the word out to people. Um, and there are groups both out in Victoria and in Red Deer who have um, local community groups working to try to figure out ways to garner attention, um, both from the public so people can let the CRTC know and let CanWest know that we need our local broadcasting, we need our local news stations, um, and to try and garner support from our MPs who can possibly help with legislation on keeping local news alive and well in Canada. The federal watchdog agency, the CRTC, is uh, is going to be holding hearings very soon into the fe- future of uh, TV, other media as well. What would you ask of the, the, of the uh, commission in regard to CHTV then? I would ask that they not allow it to be an option for CHTV to go dark. I would ask that they help figure out a way. I understand that it is an economical decision and that they don't interfere in business per se, but that it simply can't be allowed to just, Can West can't be allowed to just turn off the lights and let everybody go. Not only would that be a huge loss of jobs in our community, but it would be losing our connection to the rest of our area. Hamilton, Niagara, Halton is a humongous, um, vast amount of people. We're not stationed in one little spot, and we need to know what's going on within our area. I'd ask that they keep us on the air. So if there's not a private sector solution to this, you want a public sector one? You want a government solution? I would like the CDC to step in and buy us. I I want somebody to to step in and and keep it on air. Yes, I would like governments to to figure out what they can do. We're willing to bail out every other sector. Maybe we need to start thinking about our local news that keeps us all connected. Ms. Hinkson, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. That's Jody Hinkson. She started an online campaign to save her local TV station, CH. We reached her in Hamilton.